All right, so all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem and double honors to the apostles of GMS. Uh, salutations to the Akim Akwaf out there pushing out this truth and sincerity across the four winds. Um, so today I went, went out, right, for, uh, went out driving and, um, actually was, uh, taking my rib and my son out to go, uh, clothes shopping and I went, um, to the downtown area, right, and dropped them off to go to a store, right, and I, and, you know, I looked to wait in the car. I couldn't find no necessary uh, parking to uh, leave the car. So, I, you know, I sit, I pull up behind another vehicle, right? It's in the area where you necessarily can't, um, you know, you can't get out the car because you can get a ticket. So I sit behind this vehicle, right? And I'm waiting um, as they go in the storm, waiting for them, you know, after they get out to finish shopping, and get what they're getting. As I'm waiting, I see... In the car in front of me, which was a truck, right? I seen two. I could see the uh, you know, the silhouette, so to speak, or you know, I could see, I pretty much clearly see two. They had to be like the ages around five or six, right? Uh, there were two boys, and man, one was like, you know, pretty much pouncing the other one out, pouncing the other one out. So I'm, I, you know, at this point. I'm like, what the hell's going on? So I'm like, maybe, maybe, you know, somebody else, other people are in the car, right? You know, I, right, you know, it's maybe, you know, somebody in there to tell them to stop or whatever. You know, 10 minutes go by, you know, and at this point, I thought maybe, yeah, they're just playing, but I seen one pick the other one damn near up and I see him throw him and I see the whole car shake. So I honked the horn, you know. Maybe, you know, because I seen uh, some Ishikar rights, you know, they were like doing like uh, pretty much like construction workers, but they were resting, right? One was laid out on the rest, about three of them. So I honked the horn. I kind of point to them, like point, point, I kind of point, looked at the Ishikar rights and pointed towards the car, like, yo, what's up? What's happening over there, you know, inside the vehicle? But they respond or whatever. So, you know, five more minutes passed, same thing happening. So I'm like, nah, man, this, this, nobody's in there. These kids are wilding on each other. Like, who, who knows, you know, what, what the hell's going on? You know, God forbid, you know, one of them really severely hurt each other. So the decision that was made, I hopped out the car, right? And I go to look by the window, like, yo, uh, to see if, like, there was a driver in there to, like, assess if it was a parent or somebody who was saying there was nobody in there. So, I, you know, at this point, them three ish cars, they kind of left. So I'm like, yo, like, where's the parents at? So I go and then I hit the I hit the car, like, you know, hit the hit the window like, yo, y'all better stop hitting each other. Stop fighting. Or I'm, I'm going to tell your parents. I told them to stop fighting. I'm going to tell your parents when your parents come. The window cracked down a little bit, you know, as I walked away. And I say, yo, I'm going to tell your parents y'all need to stop fighting. I get back in the car. Another half an hour passed. They still going at it. Same thing. So at this point, you know, whatever I said, what I said, it, it, it is what it is. I'm just going to wait on the parents. So I'm just, I'm still waiting for my rib, whatever. It just so happened, their mother came. As she's walking across the street, this is where the whole thing turns and flips around. All right. First assessment. All right. And the point of this lesson is to go into... Sirach 12 and 1. When thou will do good, know to whom thou doest it, so shalt thou be thanked for thy benefits. All right? So <clears throat> use discernment. One key point, prophesying and knowing the times, you know, is a great key of discernment, of course, to know, you know, how closer we are. But having the discernment in your day in and day out activities is just as uh as high as is on high you know on a up up in as well, and I'm you know keying right now the Lord. I'm gonna just be straight up. This is something that I fell at. All right, so here's a scenario. Uh, continuing on, 
So she comes. I see the eyelashes. I see the face. You know, I know what I'm talking about. And there's no disrespect to all, you know, the Eves and so-called black women. This doesn't apply to everybody, but seeing the face, the hard look, the... So at this point, because I knocked on there and everything, you know, I, it compelled me to at least tell her, like, because, you know, if somebody was to talk about it, like, yo, and they seen them fighting, you know, or my son fighting, and they like, yo, you know, stop fighting, you know what I'm telling I would want them to, you know, tell me that they that they said that to him, right? You know, I would, I would look forward to, to that as well. So that was something that was on me to do to tell her about what they were doing, but then also to let her know that, listen, you know, I knocked on the things. So, you know, either way, so she knows, right? So as I tell her, listen, hey, miss, I get out the car. As soon as I see, you know, I see her open the door, I knew that was, boom, okay, get out. Hey, miss, you know, uh, your kids, I could see them in, in front of the car. They were, you know, they were like going at it. You know what I'm saying? So I knocked on there to tell them to stop. I told them I was going to tell their parents, you know, I'm just letting you know. But, you know, as I'm pretty much finishing off, you know, she's like, yeah, but why you even knock on the uh, the, the window? So at that point, instead of, and I'm going to go into the scriptures, instead of adding water and taking a low ride out, using wisdom, knowing that you can't reason, know, know whom to, this scripture is going to break it down. And this through the spirit was a, uh, Pretty was um the uh priest the Hawaiian Miami the camp had hey that's why it's, you know good brothers too you go you know you go through situations it'll come out through the spirit you know you know you know it's good to go to your camp has you know and, and get scenarios because there's some situations that you can't you might think you're doing good at or you know doing the right thing but you get a whole nother response from and that's what happened to me so instead of it. Being that, it was like, why are you doing that? And then, instead of me using a way to just be like, you know, uh, you know, God bless you, sis. I was, uh, you know, I was just a concerned individual, and I really do apologize. And then taking the low ride out, you know, I threw the fire on it, which was, you should have never left them in there anyway by themselves, unattended for over an hour. So, with your brother broke down, now you taking shots at her parenting skills. So she, you know, so then the cursing goes from out of her mouth. So, yeah, I know, right? So, and I know brothers like, yeah, you dealing with, you know, you should have known. I, I'm foolish in that situation. And you know what? I threw it out, you know, and I was, you know, I was really pissed off. Like, damn, like, yo, why? I, I was pissed off, right? But let's go into the scriptures, man. Let's go into the scriptures because the scriptures give you what? They give you wisdom, okay? It says, verse two, do good to the godly man. And thou shalt find a recompense. And if not from him, yet from the most high. So when you do good to the godly man, that would have been a godly individual, you know, stopping kids from fighting. Especially in, you know, these times, you know, where there's a lot of our people, shit, you know, a lot of young kids killing each other. You got one dude shooting a father, you know, so, it, you know, like to, you know, to add correction. Somebody would thank you for that. Yo, I appreciate that. You know, you know, I wasn't on no... You know the wild literally you know stopping them from they they were going at it for like i say at least 40 minutes all right and this is that that had to be going on before i got there and then well anyway let me just finish this it says do good to the godly man and thou shalt find recompense and if not from him yet from the most high so the most high will bless you when you do good to the godly man but what is it saying it's not like hey like the camp has said that like the priest said not like anybody walking around with an I am godly stick on a, on a, on a, on their head. So how do you tell the ungodly? How do you tell the godly? It's through a level of discernment. All right. So you got to look at the key characteristics, how they covering up in a response. And then you got to know what to do from there. All right. It says verse three, there can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil, nor to him that giveth no alms. Um, I mean, uh, this was the point, verse four and five. Give to the godly and help not a sinner, right? Verse five, do well unto him that is lowly, but give not to the ungodly. Hold back thy bread. Now, bread, I'm going to get it in Matthew 7 and 6. Bread could be understanding as well. Money and also understanding. So, you know, hold back your understanding. Hold back your knowledge, right? And give it not unto him 
lest he overmaster thee thereby, for else thou shalt receive twice as much evil for all the good that thou shalt have done unto him. So here was the twice as evil that was going to be received. Because it started from her doing that, right? It started from the, uh, like I said, asking the question. Then I didn't, I didn't do a good job at all. I failed at even giving a watery response. So I went at it like, listen, I could have went about it, you know, like, listen, at, at the end of the day, you went wrong. You know, I'm pointing out, which was stupid, right? Saying that, you know, because you left, you left your kids unattended. For this is for over an hour now, right now, <clears throat> in the car by themselves, locked in there, right? So now, the cursing starts, and the reason why the cursing is starting is because she's sending a dog signal to the, the man that she's with, who's across the street. See, so now, <clears throat> for Jake to come, you know, the man to come, and then just come like a ravenous wolf. But what happened was the Lord didn't put that spirit on him, although he could have, because he was drunk. So he came up and he was asking her what happened. You know, is Jake gonna ask first, hey, what's going on? What's going on, babe? What's going on? So she's talking. But I guess he already know, because he, he she, <laughs> the reason why he drunk, because he was probably tired of dealing with he already know that how she already is. So when he came up, he was like, Yeah, you know, man, you know, like he came up in the in a way of like basically trying to Stand up for her, but saying he, y'all, you know, like, yeah, you, you know, you know, you in the right, but you know, it was kind of like a whole different spirit on him. And all I was saying was, listen, I'm in no bad intentions by knocking on the window. The only thing is that for me to see that I got a son, I'm not, you know, I'll be scared to sit there and this is what I'm seeing and two kids going at it. And God forbid, one of them really hurt each other real bad. You know, I'm in no disrespect by it. But for me trying to explain that to her and then even explaining it to him, it didn't make no it didn't make no sense. And that's giving the bread. OK, and that twice as much evil could have been because he could have been on, you know, real turned up, you know, yo, you, fuck, you knocked on it. What, 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 what are you talking about? You know, it could have could, went crazy. And this is how shit do happen. Right. It is really simple. This is a scenario of how one Jake get their head blown off just for, you know, for though for the. For less, for nothing. Okay? So, <clears throat> now, you know, like I said, I, I, I got this counsel later on. So, after I, I you know, my rib come, uh, they, they they go, so they head out of the story. He hid me out for a little bit. Cool. She walk, he sends her away. Yo, just walk away, you know, because he's, she, you know, all, you know, cursing and shit. So, he sent her away. Boom. So, he like, yeah, you know, she just really concerned about people coming up to her kid. I said, yeah. You know, I said the same thing. I said, yeah, and nah, I understand that. But, you know, if she's so concerned, you know, she shouldn't let, leave them in there unattended like that. You know what I'm saying? So whatever. Cool. He walks. He walk. He he. Now he walks away. So they leave the kids back in there by themselves again. <laughs> Crazy shit. Right. So I read my son come. They get in the car. Right. And they get in the car. As soon as they get in the car, you know, I just get ready to pull off. You know, he, he come. He's like walking back, I guess, to watch them. Or whatever, you know, and then before I roll down the window and I say, listen, man, I, you know, again, I'm in no disrespect, you know, but uh, I was just, you know, uh, looking at I said, he said, you know, I've I've done things like that as well. He's saying uh, upon his behalf, but he said, you know, never like in a situation where he see two kids in a car. He said maybe if they were fighting on the street, you know, I said that and I said, yeah, you, you, I said, you're right. You know, I said, I understand you know, it just, you know, that was just a reaction, you know, and then that was that. So drive away. I was still pissed off, you know, like, just like, damn, why she didn't get it. All right. So <clears throat> here it is. It's Sirach 12 and um, 5. Once again, do well unto him that is lowly. All right. So lowly meaning what? Uh, meek. OK, calm. So you got to discern those different things, man. But give not to the ungodly. Hold back thy bread and give it not unto him. Don't give him it. Don't give him it. You cannot force anybody to receive understanding. That is going to burn you out. You're going to be hurt over that. You're going to suffer uh, 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 bad over doing that because it's not meant for them. All right. It says, lest he overmaster thee thereby, for else thou shalt receive twice as much evil for all the good thou shalt have done unto him. And that literally, literally as 
The uh, priest broke that down to me. That's literally what happened. All right. Except it wasn't at a magnitude of which it could have been. And that was the Lord showing me mercy. OK. Verse six, it said, for the most high hate of sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keep them against the mighty day of their judgment. So the Lord is going to judge the ungodly regardless. OK. You can't force to get the ungodly uh, 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 um, uh, bread. Now, we understand that we all sin and, you know, there's people, individuals who will repent, but you got to have that level of discernment, okay? And you got to have level of discernment of how you use your tongue because that me adding more fuel or saying certain things, you're just only going to incite, all right, the uh, individuals. And that's not the objective of what we're here to do, you know? Not that's not the objective of what we're here to do. Okay, we're here to what to build, uh, you know, search out those who be like unto you know the righteous. All right, give soft answers and keep keep a low key and keep a humble. Right. So let's say verse seven. Give unto the good and help not a sinner. All right. So that's pretty much it. Plain. Now I'm gonna get um two more precepts. Not gonna be too long. Um, but uh, that was just a, a testimony and reproof. That I've that I received and hey, it might be for other brothers who may go through the same. Some brothers are really, really good with their movements. And then, it, you know, some brothers may be good with uh, the understanding, and discernment of uh, different prophecies and stuff like that. But their movements and, you know, how they moving in the world might not be um, is not going to be on that. It's not on that status. So, you know, you know you're going to go through different bumps, you know, and these are you just got to. That the discernment level of being uh, on the surface level with the people, because yeah, how was Shah was proper, but he dealt with the people. So you know, you it's not to say that oh I'm not gonna deal with it or I'm not gonna no, because that's what was in my mind. I said man, fuck it, F, F, F. you know I had that in my mind. F, no, I ain't dealing, but no, that's not the point. The point is just having discernment when you're dealing with the people. Not that, yo, man, fuck, I ain't going to say nothing about people no more. No, nah, it's not the point. The point is having the discernment when you're dealing with the people. How do you give the response? How do you give the answer? How do you, the things you say, the time, and it's all a skill and an art to that. You know, it's all a skill and an art to that. And, and the camp, he's beautiful with that. Like, through the spirit, you know, through the spirit and power, you how about Shem, you Because those are different talents. Beautiful, like, real layered with it. I mean, I've seen it prophesying. I see, you know, I see one, two, so we even see Shabu's brothers come up even during the midst of prophesying and be angry and then leave him like, all right, yeah, thanks, man. You're like, what the hell? <laughs> a, because you got to know how to deal with the spirits and that. Yahweh Shah did, did wonderfully with that. Okay? He didn't, it didn't like Yahweh Shah, man, fuck it, I know. Yahweh Shah knew who the two thirds was. You think he know the two thirds? He still dealt with them. And then he still answered them a certain way. Okay? Now, in Proverbs 15 and 1, it says, A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. You heard that? A soft answer, okay? Turneth away wrath. So sometimes it's how you give your answer. It has to be, it got to be soft, all right? You know, he was talking about, uh, you know, we're using the sword, okay? But sometimes you got to give the soft part of the sword, you know, that flat part. You know, don't give the sharp part where it cut them, but you hit them with the, the, the flat part, you know, uh, give a soft answer and then to turn away wrath. This is in the scriptures. This is what the most High saying. All right. Let me keep going. But grievous words stir up anger. So even though it was like understanding, but understanding is it is grievous unto the foolish. Right. So, you you know, it's not like I say, man, you bad parent. Mother, you know, I didn't go snapping like that. I just explain, you know, what I did. And then I try to use a situation like, hey, listen, at the end of the day, you know, it was over there left. Up, but that was, you know, that was that made it stir up more anger. OK, so it said the not the tongue of the wise. And then it's, it's that, you know, the you know, the the energy you got, you know, you got to give it off humble, you know, because you can't stand up and try to be like, you know, like, listen, I'm technically I'm doing the right thing, you know, because that's the spirit that was on me. Like, listen. You got to understand that I'm doing the right. <laughs> Yo, the thing is, is in moments you got to learn and it's like boxing. You got to learn to switch it in the moment. 
You understand? You could probably pre-plan it in your mind, but when it's happening in the moment, you gotta know to switch south or step, step, uh, slip, slip to the left. You can't just go in and slip into the left and ain't no punches. You gotta know the timing and everything. That's the beauty about it. You know, dealing with people, it's a boxing, it's a dance, it's a tango. You gotta have the timing right. You gotta have every everything has to be perfect. You know, through the spirit and power, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Right. So it says the tongue of the wise useth knowledge or right. So that's what you want to use. You want to use your tongue at its perfect time. And you want to say the, uh, you, the, the wise is going to use it. So this is something that I'm unwise with. OK. And it's hey, When you don't when you lack, you lack, you know, but when you get the most size reproving, you got to, you know, take it in. You, you know, pray Lord's will, the most high build upon it because it's those moments that capture it. You know, it's the moments. So it says the tongue of the wise, all right, when you're wise, they use if knowledge or right. They know when to say things. They know the time of the saying things. They know what things not to say, okay? So it says, but the mouth of fools pours out foolishness, okay? But the mouth of fools pours out, out foolishness. And hey, once you, once somebody else is talking some fools, once she comes up saying some fools, and you arguing, hey, hey, like they say, from afar, you both look like fools, right? All right, so <clears throat> um, one more scripture that was given uh, through the Spirit. And appreciate, uh, brothers, for these precepts, you know, through the Spirit. Um, this is Matthew chapter 7, verse 6. It says, give not that which is holy unto the dogs. All right, now what is holy is the ways of the kingdom. Now, in the ways of the kingdom... All right, you would do that because hey, the elders would would even uh uh late like I'm not saying that you know I'm not saying it, this example I'm saying is not saying that yeah the you know you know you go beat somebody kids it's not what I'm saying but I'm saying in the kingdom according to Deuteronomy uh, uh when the parents can't handle it the the elders would lay hands on a on a kid would beat them okay and if if they ain't get it then then that kid would even be eventually stoned. All right, now, I'm not saying to do that, okay? I'm just saying that the mindset of correcting our people, okay, or, you know, our people, because we are one nation, all right, is being kingdom-minded because they're, we're all a representation of each other, all right? We can't, you know, our kids, you know, you're a representation of each other. When people see... All right, a father shooting his, his son, that's a re representation. That's why them nations be like, well, yo, they're animals. Well, why would they even care about a, a police shooting uh, then, then when, look, the son is shooting after the father? So, you know, it's their representation of things that happen on the news. It's not just one, oh, yeah, that was just these two individuals in that situation. No, they're looking at us all as that. So that's why the being kingdom minded, that correction, okay, is because we're all a representation, right? But the scriptures is saying right here, give not that which is holy unto the dogs. All right. Now, dog in uh, Revelation 22, those who are without the commandments. Now, it's not saying you can't teach nobody. All right. But it's saying this. Neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you. So not only are they going to trample it under their feet. Right. The things you say and not even give it then. They're going to rend you. Right, let's get that word rent. And literally, man, if that wasn't happening in the corner of the scripture, I don't know, I don't know what else to say. You know, it says to rend, to burst or break, to break through. All right, to distort. And I felt distorted. I was like, I turned around. Oh, yeah, this is not I turned around and I was like, and amazing. I try to say that to her, like, yo, how does me doing something right, but it was just retarded. Why am I going to say that to her? How does me trying to do one good gesture like turn into something so evil? And it, she didn't say nothing. She couldn't get it. It was just like, oh, she just was like, man, forgot it. Like, yeah, yeah, like that's what's always coming out. And I seen a Jake on the phone, and I'm like, yo, bro. <laughs> I'm just, listen, I was distorted. All right. It says, of a of a demon causing convulsions in a man possessed to dash down to hurl to the ground. Right. So you do that. You're going to be dashed down. You're going to be hurled to the ground. Right. A common occurrence in cases of demon possession and epilepsy. 
Wow. Right, so you be demonized. You, 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 you know that you, now, now the spirit is on you, right? Now you're in the wrong, right? Now you're, <laughs> now you're wicked. But this is what the Lord is saying, you know. And this, this man was, you know, truly, you know, true testimony of what happens today. And um, you know, a lot of times going going to prophecy and stuff like you know things of that nature was just, which is highly important. But uh, knowing how to move is a is a highly important uh, asset as well. Especially to be preserved in his truth because you're going to deal with a lot of situations in this world. You know, especially for those, you know, got, you know, got kids going to be out and about, dropping, doing this, working and things of that nature. You know, you don't want to burn yourself out with, you know, with uh, forcing correction and, you know, being, you know, the, you know, the, you know, pr patrol unit. <laughs> you know, now it's nothing wrong with saying, you know, correcting our people. Which, like I said, know whom to do it to and things of that nature. Because, you know, you can bring somebody in the truth, you know, and through the spirit. Me, uh, I, you know, one brother that I did say something, he, he came into the truth. I didn't know him. Okay. So it, it does work, but you got to know whom. Okay. You got to look for the reactions. You got to look at key things. You got to look, you got to look at everything, man. You know, you got to look at, assess everything. And I'm saying that, um, to, you know, I'm putting it out there as it was said to me through the spirit, you know, I'm not saying that, that, you know, I've did this perfect. I'm just saying it as these are, these are things that through the spirit must be done that way. Okay. All right. So, um, you know, Lord's will, this was an edifying lesson, you know, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem, and, uh, Lord's will to the next time I'll say Shalom.